Crafting Vicky here with you and today we're making some small cards uh, but before we start that I wanted to share with you a card that I got from Liz it took a while to get here but it's just beautiful and I love the torn edges that uh, she's done and uh, the recycled image is just really really beautiful so just wanted to share that with you guys uh, like I said sometimes right now uh, the post <laughs> takes forever um, which is very annoying but it is what it is um, so today we're making some very small cards and I know you're gonna say well you can't mail out those because they're not regular size um, first of all there's there's two things uh, the first thing is I'm not mailing these out I'm using them as thank you notes for when I'm making um, actually this one is a big one um, when I'm selling on Etsy I always put a little thank you note in the box that I ship but I've noticed recently that I was shipping some small figurines um, because one of the things that I had done in the past year was um, was when I would go uh, thrifting if I found a few things I liked I would um, purchase them and I have put them in my Etsy store and that's one of the ways that um, I'm supporting my channel and stuff and, and other things that I purchase so um, but those little figurines they're not very big so obviously the box I'm sh sending them in is not the typical um, three and a half by five so I was kind of stuck I had no cards for those and um, so I decided that today we're gonna make some um, but for those of you that might want to make use the smaller scraps to make some cards um, there's nothing that stops you from using a regular uh, size envelope like I mean wait, I'm gonna pull out an envelope so for example these are usually the, the smallest I sent out but you can easily fold this into two and, and tuck it in there and then add a few extra goodies and mail it out there's and and it's not gonna cost you much and you're using your paper scraps so just some ideas um, because I get a lot of comments on some of the videos where I showed um, especially in the the first series that I the, like the, the way 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 back when I started doing um, the uh, Christmas cards I had a lot of comments about that so so we're gonna start doing this I've pulled out some stickers and uh, we're just gonna have fun and use up the stash so these came from the sets of the cards I should have one more where's the other one? Oh, there it is so these came from the um, cards that uh, I, re I reuse to make some card sets that are in my Etsy store and I found I went through my stash and I, I because I've been really really into um, doing I, I've come back into the cute stationery um, Japanese stationery and stuff and I shouldn't be purchasing anything I should be just using my stash but I uh, I fell back into the rabbit hole let's just say it's been it's been a bad a really really bad week and I really really needed some shopping therapy and unfortunately um, when you're shopping right now you're shopping online but the, th the stuff doesn't get here right away so it's not as satisfying as when you go to a store and you come out with your items in your hand and um, so yeah, I've, I have to admit that I purchased a few items. Um, I will have a haul, little haul video for you guys soon about some items I had purchased on uh, Amazon. But you saw what, one of them, uh, which was the guillotine, which I really needed. I, I did purchase a few other items. But these here, the, the, the stuff was more about like stickers and... Um, Fun Japanese items I just love Japanese stationery what can I say I just love 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 it and um, I've been watching a lot of uh, Courtney Diaz which is little Raven Inc I'm one of her patreons and she's been showing this stuff and oh 
yeah I want it all that's the bad thing about watching others <laughs> sometimes uh, you really want to have the stuff that they have and um, so I, I splurge a little bit so I will share those when I do get them um, but in the meantime I need to create some cards um, one of the things too I've added back into my store some of these stickers um, sticker sheets the mixed media ones I know that you guys uh, used to really like them so there's some in my store at the present time if you're interested go and check it out I'm just gonna tear these envelopes come from Francis and uh, I blocked off her address on the back because there was an address on it and I didn't want by accident to share the address that's one of the things I saw recently in one of the the stores the little Japanese stores that I was visiting visiting it was a ka kawaii um, stationery store and they had the cutest cutest little stamp roller thingy and it hides all your personal information and I just thought that was brilliant and I want one so bad but they were out of it so I will I um, ask that I be notified when they do get it back because I think it would be very very helpful for when I'm making videos like this and I don't want an address to show so when I was going through my stash I also found some little stickers that I had and I thought these could be very cute with some of my stickers here from the past and would make this a little bit more personal so so let's do that and like I said it's a really small nothing fancy little card that's the goal it's just to say a little thank you so I can write a little note because I always write a little handwritten note if I sell stuff that's um, crafty whoops oh well that sucks that it did that I'm gonna have to be careful about the lines um, so whenever I sell anything uh, that's crafty related that, that I made I usually um, include some extra little goodies that I made but if it's a uh, if it's a vintage item that I'm selling then I just usually put a little handwritten note and uh, just say thank you because I really really appreciate those little touch I mean it's it's I think it makes a difference between sh someone showing that they care and and about your purchase and you're taking the time to purchase versus somebody that doesn't and I think it's also the difference between purchasing from a local uh, a small store versus the big box stores um, is those little aspects so okay so we've we've saved a day and I'm gonna have to be careful when I stamp this um, I think it's kind of missing something I want it to I want some edging on it uh, there goes my little sticker and um, do I just use this marker do I edge it or do I just do a line around it I could just do a line around it do I have a pink marker pink pen? yep I have a pink uh, micron pen So that's going to be perfect. I was missing a little something. 
So obviously not only is it uh, a handwritten note, but it's also a handwritten, uh, handmade little card. So I know not everybody uh, will appreciate that, but I do know that some really do. And I personally really appreciate when I purchase something and they take the time to do a little note. So here we go. That's the first little card. And super easy. So let's make another one. And let's just use up all this sticker sheet before I go and use something else. Since I have it out, the cards might look similar, but. Okay, so let's stamp this first. And I don't think I made a mess on the sides this time around. Oh, I almost put it upside down. That would not have been good. And it's not very dark, but I can take care of that. By just adding a little bit of ink to the parts that didn't stamp as well. I prefer that than having the big marks. Okay, so thank you. And like this or do I leave this one out and just put this maybe I'll leave this one out this is a case of uh, having stuff that you just don't want to use because you're hoarding it so that was the case with these stickers. I'm glad that finally I'm doing something with them. Because they are very pretty and it's kind of useless if I don't use them, right? So. I would love to know as well if there's items that you would like to see in my store, items that I could make that you would like. You can shop through um, the different uh, sections and see if there's stuff that you like and enjoy. All I need, some on camera, some are not. I've been trying to do some stuff off camera as well to kind of uh, take the pressure off myself. Um, but I've been doing a lot more filming this year, I find. Um, I've been putting out a lot of content for Patreon. Um, and uh, a lot of it is available even at the two dollar tier um, and then I've been putting more behind the scenes uh, which I wasn't doing as much so now I've been I've been trying to put more of that and um, and I've been posting a lot more on on YouTube as well um, I'm trying to do stuff on YouTube that 
um, will be stuff that I've enjoyed um, even if it's not necessarily card making like for example sharing my fountain pen love and and little hauls and other items like that because I know that a lot of you guys just find it interesting uh, even if you're not necessarily into that stuff it's still kind of fun um, and you might discover a new passion because I know that a lot of you guys are not necessarily into mixed media uh, which when you're recycling cards like this and you're making doodles and you're including PT papers and whatever that's mixed media by the way <laughs> so just so you know um, and and mixed media doesn't have to be very uh, extensive it doesn't have to be super fancy uh, it just means including different mediums that uh, are not all the same so for example uh, inks uh, for example paints and then you can use a pencil you can use some stamping um, all using all those different mediums that's how it becomes mixed media so so just you know and I know that after a while if you've been making a lot of cards you might get bored with cards so it's kind of nice to have other outlets that are not necessarily very expensive and very because um, I, I don't know for you guys but when I started doing uh, stuff like this uh, especially mixed media I was very um, it, it I was kind of scared to uh, use supplies that were very expensive because I didn't really know how to use them and I wanted to experiment and I find that experimenting <coughs> is a lot less stressful if you're using supplies that are not very expensive hence recycling um, if you're using old books and you're just uh, writing in them it's it's not as it's not as stressful at all so let's try using this pen this time oh it's a much thicker pen this is my jelly roll in black um, so yeah it's it's not as uh, it's not as stressful and you can get it in used bookstores and or just you know buy it at uh, the dollar store because they do sell some books there so you could use one of those and I just think it releases a lot of the, the, the stress and you can use supplies like old newspaper that you can um, paint over you can use envelopes as you see me use here I just love the texture I love the the feel of them and and obviously um, not expensive supplies and uh, it really doesn't have to be and that's something that I think everybody has to uh, remember is that you don't have to have all the fancy supplies uh, even though I have to admit that it is fun to, uh, <laughs> to have them sometimes um, I'm guilty of that of the wanting uh, new things obviously like I said I've been really really good in the past year I haven't purchased much supplies at all because obviously I couldn't go out um, so that kind of uh, took that away and I was watching a lot more channel about growing my own food and um, prepping and stuff but I have to admit I'm, I'm finding it very difficult these days to watch proper channel because they're so most of them are so negative I do find some sometimes that are not but most of the time these days it's like very very negative and I, I can't I can't take the negativity which is probably why I'm, I'm going back into uh, more Japanese stationery, Asian stationery because it just makes me happy and there's nothing more satisfying than some new um, pens or stickers or uh, it just makes you happy <laughs> at least it does to me um, and you know writing in my journal 
with uh, I'm using my Electrum. Uh, I'm hoping I'm pronouncing this relatively correctly. I'm probably not really enjoying writing with my fountain pens. I've already emptied out uh, two fountain pens so far, so uh, which is pretty good. And uh, I've been just having a lot of fun with this stuff. And so it takes my mind off the, the, the rest of what's going on in the world, which honestly I don't need to be reminded of all the time. Because we're living it, right? So don't need to be reminded of it. So I've been I've been making art for the Etsy store while watching other creators and just getting inspiration that way and kind of um, being good trying to be good for myself. Um, this past week was particularly difficult, like really really difficult. Um, I don't know why my energy level went smacking down and uh, I just didn't have I didn't want to do anything and obviously I need to work and I, I was just not feeling it and it was just oh man so difficult I had major headaches and just wasn't doing well mentally I think I'm not gonna put any for this one um, I feel it's missing something, but I don't know what. And I think it's because because it's smack in the middle, I can't really put, I don't feel I can put the stickers. The mixed media stickers. I think I'm going to put it more to the side, and then maybe I can use some of those stickers. And I've got some that are more purplish, which I think would be better. So I'm hoping that you guys are staying safe and your energy level is up and you're doing well mentally and everything and uh, I know that the lockdowns are not helping the, the situation a lot of people are feeling it but at the same time it, it's such a this virus is just crazy crazy so, and uh, just have to stay safe until we can get rid of it, hopefully soon. It's also been really cold here this week. We were very lucky, we had a very warm um, January so far, but this week it dip back down and it was very windy and really don't feel like if if you're not following me on Instagram you really should uh, because I, I do I'm really trying to post more there now and um, one of the things that I did post was a picture of my fireplace yesterday and that was just so comforting so nice to be able to just enjoy it that was a perfect weather for it because we've uh, we reinsulate when we redid the roof we reinsulated the house and it's been really warm so I haven't been able to really enjoy my fireplace um, this year because it's been too warm uh, to put it on trying to find some uh, some that I haven't used before like some of the images that I haven't used already I think I'm gonna use this one I don't think I used that one yet and uh, so yesterday was one of the first times 
that I wasn't working and that I could just bundle up in front of the fireplace and watch it burn and just enjoy enjoy the warmth and just look outside and just be thankful to be safe inside and, and warm I'm really liking these little cards they're they're very simple um, but I think they're gonna make some really fun well, thank yous. And they're kind of generic, so they're not... Uh, and obviously I pulled too many stickers and things and didn't use them, so we're gonna have to do so in another uh, make. But I never know what I'm gonna use, and I'm trying to better organized so that I don't waste time looking for supplies but <laughs> it's really hard because I, I try to be spontaneous so I don't know how it's gonna turn out I don't have a set plan in my head if that makes sense so so that's what happens when you don't really know ahead of time what you're gonna do um, Use one of these little guys. Have to make some more cactus uh, drawings. And this card stock uh, that I used uh, to put the, the card base is actually from uh, Index, that an Index bundle that I had purchased at uh, the thrift store, and um, I used the big, like a big. I made a, a big card out of it, but then I was stuck with all these little scraps, and I kept them obviously because <laughs> you know me. If you watch my channel, you know me, you know that I keep everything, and uh, so it's it's just the perfect size, and I thought I had plenty of the, um, I had plenty of the little cards until I went to use them, and I had none left, and I realized, whoops, better make some more. Uh, here we go. I think we'll have time for one more. So that's pretty good. I will have quite a good little bundle of cards. And I can just stamp my uh, crafting Vicky on the back. trying to see if there's a... Hmm. I think I'm gonna stick with my 
typical border. And I like these little thingies. Scribble. really trying to find uh, some of the images that I haven't used. And this would be one. I have, I don't have any purp I have one purple base. So I've got one like this, I think. Similar. A little bit different, so let's use this one. I can open it up. Actually, I should be stamping first. Uh, where do I want to stamp this one? Let's stamp it here. use this over here and I think I'm gonna use more of the pink side like that so I think that will be it for today we've got one minute left on the clock so it's been, it's been a good session of card making and I'll just pull these aside so that they're not in my way for the next time I craft. And I do need to use up those other little things, um, but still. Uh, so these little box, I think I had gotten them at AliExpress, I'm not sure anymore, or on eBay. Um, they're quite old as I mentioned, but they're the type of little Asian um, stickers and there's quite a lot actually in, in, in these. Um, they don't say how many, or maybe they do, but it's in Japanese or Chinese, I don't know, but uh, yeah, there's quite a lot. So I still have quite a few uh, little stickers that I can use in future makes and uh, so we've made all of these which I think turned out quite adorable if I do say so myself and uh, I will be good for a while now to uh, ship out some more of my uh, vintage items. So I hope you've enjoyed this. I'm looking forward to reading your comments. Stay safe everyone. I'm sending you love, lots of love and big virtual hugs and, uh, and, and warmth and love and all that good stuff. Bye!